Let's agree timetable on Notion 2023 full tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you on how you're going to create a timetable on Notion in the easiest way possible. So of course Notion will help you to stay organized and manage your schedule and a lot of other stuff that you will see through this video and I'm going to make sure that it's really impressive and it's really fun to go through with this. So let's get started with this video. So before starting off, do make sure to watch this video till the end to get the full experience of what's happening. So to start things off, obviously you're going to come over to any browser of yours and you're going to come to notion.so. Okay. So that takes you to the notion website. And once you come to the notion website, basically what's going to happen over here is you're going to get a basic, uh, you know, white sample opened up. So if you don't have a notion account, please do make sure to create it because notion is just an incredible workspace. So once you've created an account over here, uh, let's say I'm just going to keep uh, this over here. Yeah. So we have this team space, right? And in this team space, you can add pages or add templates. So let's say I'm going to add a blank page. And once you add a blank page, it's going to look somewhat like that. So to create an account with Notion, you can either create a different accounts with, uh, you know, your Google accounts, your Gmail or any other email that you may correspondingly have. And trust me, it's really simple to create accounts with Notion. So just do make sure to go ahead and create a few of these for yourselves because trust me, you're not going to regret it. So once you do all of this, you're going to click on add a page. And once you click on add a page, you're going to get all these options like import, uh, template and all. So if you go in the import options, you're going to get uh, a few different import options and you can see different websites that you can import data from. So you can import data from other apps and files into your Notion. So you have Asana, Confluence, Google Docs, HTML, Text and Markdown, CSV, Word, Dropbox, Trello, Workflowy, Quip, Evernote, Universal Import, and a whole lot more. So you can use these different things to import stuff for yourself. Absolutely incredible. Asana, Docs, Quip, Workflowy. It's really incredible to import data. And, uh, you know, you can upload something for yourself as well. So universal import is exactly that. So yeah, as I said, really simple to import things for yourself with the different types of things. Uh, if I were to go on Evernote, it's going to take me to the Evernote website for login. If I go to Trello, it's going to take me to Trello for login. If I go to Asana, it's going to take me to Asana for login. So these are different ways that you can import different types of data. Now, to start things off, uh, of course, what you are going to do is you are going to back out of the import section and we're going to go over to our templates. OK, and if you go over to your templates, it's going to open up a board like this with different templates on the left hand side. So you get a to do list template, you get a projects and task template, project task and sprint template, meetings, docs, wiki and a whole lot more. So let's say I'm going to come over to search templates over here and I'm going to write time table. So once you write timetable, you can see that you don't really get a lot of timetable templates, do you? So what you're going to do is you're going to switch from this to docs and you get different documentary timetable templates over here, or you get different documentary templates over here, just as an example. So really fun and really easy stuff to get your head around this. Now to start things off, you're going to first of all, choose a data source for yourself. So let's say I'm going to go with a calendar. Okay. So once you go with a calendar, it opens up just different data sources for yourself. And on the right hand side, you can see all these things. So to go ahead with this, I'm just going to click on show five more. Uh, we're going to go ahead with recipes. Okay. And uh, once you go ahead with the recipes over here, what you're going to do is you're also going to go into your new view. We're going to open a new view up, but uh, you're also going to make sure to, uh, you know, uh, duplicate these views for yourself. So this is your new view, which is going to be your table view, which is exactly what we're going to do and make it into our timetable view, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this calendar view because I don't really need it. So yeah, in this basic table view, you can edit this view according to your likings. Okay. You can add different looks in this view. You can add different types of viewings in this view. And it's going to be pretty incredible, right? Or you can obviously just come over to your basic and go into your recipes section. 
and as you can see it gives you new views uh, but obviously in this new view you're going to select a data source to continue obviously so you know meetings projects tasks documents wiki reading list journal tasks let's go with whatever seems best for you i'm just going to go ahead over to my table and once we're in our table this is exactly where we're going to be adding our timetable so in this case to add timetable you're obviously going to need to have a different um, set of uh, categories, right? Because in timetables, there's rows and there's columns. So you're gonna add properties into your table, okay? So to add properties, first of all, we're gonna click on new, okay? And once you click on new, here you get a section of adding properties. So it could be a date property, it could be any type of other property. Uh, you can even use AI for yourself if you want to, or you can use different templates, to be honest. Uh, it all depends on the type of uh, YB you want to go with. Like, let's say I'm going to add date over here. Okay, and once you add date, this is basically how we've edited a template. And then you can actually go ahead and draft things with AI as well. So you can ask it to outline some dates, press release, a creative story. You can add a whole lot of other things. Trust me really simple really easy stuff or you can even add different commands for yourself so you can add date commands divider commands file commands data block commands all these things just to make a timetable for yourself so obviously when you're in your basic table view to create a timetable make sections by clicking on new and as you can see it just makes different sections for you and uh, obviously in these new different views that you have uh, you can duplicate these views uh, to make more timetables. So let's say we have this view, duplicate. You have another view, duplicate. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. Yeah. So you can keep duplicating these reviews. I'm just going to close this recipe template. Yeah. So as you duplicate the reviews, it's all going to look the same and it's all going to have the same vibe, right? So for this, you can also create different uh, data options for yourself. So you can edit this view uh by changing its layout by changing its source so the layout could be a trello board could be a timeline calendar list gallery but obviously for a timetable a better view would be in a table view right so obviously in this table view you're going to add different sub items for yourself uh like let's say this is name in this you have tags uh let's say i don't want the link property okay i want the date property because obviously it's a timetable so you can start adding data for yourself in this timetable, like uh, Monday, uh, you can add some tag, uh, Monday you were going to have dessert on this date, etc. You're going to add a name for what kind of dessert you want to have, or, you know, just for any type of timetable you want. And then you can obviously share this timetable with other people at your workspace, potentially. So yeah, basically that is how you're going to create a timetable on Notion in the easiest, most simplest way possible. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.